Unit 9 Force, Work and Energy We see many things around us. Trees, buildings and stones are at rest. Buses, cars and carts are moving on the road. Trains run on railway tracks. All things which move need a push or pull. They change their positions all the time. Force We see a boy pushing the table, worker pulling a cart, wind pushing the branches of a tree and a woman pulling the door. Pulls and pushes cause motion of a body. Force is always applied when an object is pushed or pulled. The force makes the body move. Thus, you need to push or pull a thing to move it. These pulls or pushes are called forces. Activity while playing cricket or football. 1. How do you hit a ball coming towards you? 2. How do you stop a ball coming towards you? When a force is applied, the object moves in the direction of the force. When we want to stop a moving object, we have to apply force in the opposite direction. For example, in cricket, the fielder applies force in opposite direction to stop the moving cricket ball. Force changes the direction of a moving ball. If force is applied on a moving object in the same direction, the object moves faster. Force can also change the direction of movement of a body. The batsman uses force to hit the cricket ball and the direction of the moving ball changes. Thus, a force is used to A. Move a body B. Stop a moving body C. Change the direction of movement of a body Activity Look at the pictures given below and say whether a push or pull is used in each case. Friction When we kick a football slightly, it moves on the ground. After some distance, its movement becomes slow and then stops. Why does it stop of its own? Its movement is stopped because the surface of the ball rubs against the floor. When one thing rubs against another, there is friction. Friction stops the movement. So, if you push the ball, it does not continue to move. Friction stops its movement. Kind of force Force may be of different kinds. 1. We use muscular force in all above examples. Animals also use muscular force to pull the carts or tonga. 2. The force applied with the help of a tool is called mechanical force. 3. The earth attracts objects towards it due to a force called gravitational force. An apple falls from a branch of a tree to the ground. When we throw anything up, it comes down of its own. Muscular force Gravitational force Mechanical force Work as you know, you need force to
to move a thing. When a force is used to move an object to a distance, we say that work is done. The meaning of work as used in science is different from the everyday use of the word. Work is said to be done when the force, pull or push, moves a body through a distance. We can see many examples of work in our day-to-day -day life. Work is done when load is lifted, when you open or shut the door, when a flag is hoisted, when a nut is cracked. Work is also done when a boy picks up his bag from the floor. Simple machines We do work with our hands. But sometimes our hands cannot do the work. Then we use tools. These tools are called simple machines. A bottle opener is used to remove the cap of a soft drink bottle. This bottle opener is a simple machine. Simple machines help us in the following ways. 1. The machines make work easier. 2. The machines increase the speed of work. 3. The machines change the direction of force. The simple machines commonly used as the pulley, wheel and axle, lever, screw and inclined plane. The complex machines found in factories are the combinations of these simple machines. Energy To do any work, we have to use force. And to use force, you need simple energy. So energy is the capacity to do work. So the work done by a body depends upon the energy it has. For example, a deer runs. It does work. To run, it uses energy from the food it eats. To do work, we need energy which we get from food we eat. All living things need energy to work. The natural sources of energy are the sun, wind and falling water. Forms of energy 1. Muscular energy The energy stored in the muscles of human beings and animals is called muscular energy. We use our muscular energy to lift heavy things and to move them from one place to another. Muscular energy Two, wind energy. The air that blows as wind has a lot of energy called wind energy. The wind energy can be used to run windmills or sailboats. It is used for running a wheat grinding machine and pumping out water. Three, water energy. Water that flows down the hills have enough energy to turn huge wheels of grinding mills or produce electricity through turbines. Electricity produced by the energy of flowing water is called hydroelectricity. Water energy 4. Heat energy this is one of the most important forms of energy. It is produced by burning wood, coal, oil, gas, etc. 
Heat energy is used for cooking food, heating water and also used to run steam engine or a diesel engine. Heat energy Five, electrical energy. We use electrical energy to operate several appliances like fan, refrigerator, etc. Electrical energy. Six, solar energy. Have you seen a solar cooker or heater? What is their source of energy? Sun. The energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy. This solar energy changes into heat energy, light energy, electrical energy and muscular energy. These days, solar cookers and heaters use solar energy for cooking and heating. A special quality of energy is that it can be changed from one form into another. All forms of energy are capable of doing work. We can convert one form into other forms of energy by suitable instruments. One in the following pictures, electrical energy is converted into heat energy geyser water heating rod iron oven 2 electrical energy can be converted into light energy as in the following electric bulb television lighthouse 3 electrical energy is converted into sound energy also radio loudspeaker doorbell sun is the ultimate source of energy the sun is the main source of energy for all living things green plants use the energy from the sun to make food.